In this coding exercise, we will refactor the class entrance fee calculator and replace these if else statements with the strategy pattern. In the end, we will have two strategies, one for adults and one for children. Within these strategies, we can implement the logic to differentiate between full day and half day ticket types. The calculation is a simple example where we take a base price and apply a multiplier to calculate the appropriate entrance fee. Let's get started by first changing the structure of these if else statements here. You see that we check the age, we have two times the same condition here in the first half of the condition and the same goes for the second if statement below. What we use is alt enter to split that into two statements and we do the same thing here below. So now we only check the age once and then we only check the ticket type. Based on that, we can now apply a method extraction refactoring with control alt and M. And we just call that calculate adult fee. Now what IntelliJ does when we extract the method and inside the selected block, we have some references to attributes. It proposes that we could also add some additional parameters here to the method. We do not really want to do that. Um, what we want to do is we only need the ticket type and the visitor. So both versions here are not entirely correct. Um, we're going to keep the original signature and modify things manually afterwards. So what we actually want here is the ticket type and also um, the visitor that could be useful in the future because we might want to check additional properties of the visitor class. And then the last statement, we could throw an exception that the ticket type is not supported. Let's do the same thing for the children. Again, we select this block over here, extract a method, calculate child fee, fix the typo. Also here, we want to have the visitor object because we might need it later on. And we will just go for return statements. we can copy that one and paste it. So now we have two dedicated methods. We extracted the method body here. We supply the visitor as well. That makes our method already a bit easier to read. We can proceed to the next step of our refactoring session. We can continue and use the extract delegate refactoring that will move the method from the entrance fee calculator class to a new class that we can create as part of this refactoring. IntelliJ asks us for the name of the new class. We'll call that class child fee strategy. And only the child fee method is selected here. So that's fine. We also want to move the child price base constant because that is used as part of the calculation inside our method. Let's hit the refactor button. Now we can check the child fee strategy class. We can see that the constant has been moved here. This one could be private now. We also get the ticket type and visitor parameters and the body of the method is still the same. Now something that's not correct 
um, the calculate child fee is static but for our strategy pattern we want these to be non-static members in our class that also means we need to instantiate a new object here and that way it should work we're going to do the same thing with the other method we're gonna extract a delegate this time I'm not going to move the constant let's assume that we forget something like that during the refactoring so we can see how to fix it afterwards now that one will be called adult fee strategy and by refactoring we move that to a new class also here we need to do the same thing we need to make sure that we get a new instance and then calculate adult fee should not be static and now you can see that because i forgot to move the adult price base constant um, there's an error here so that one cannot be used at the moment in order to fix this we can apply a move refactoring move members um, shortcut would be f6 that's also possible and we want to move that to our newly created adult fee strategy now what's left to do is remove that reference to the original class that will fix our issue here we are ready for the next step towards the strategy pattern in the end what we want to have is no if statement here at all we want to manage all the available strategies in a collection inside the entrance fee calculator class and filter that collection to find the one single matching strategy that should be applied for the fee calculation to get there we need to extract an interface from our strategies and that also means that these two methods should be called the same as a preparation so i will just call them calculate both of them then jump to one implementation and from here we can extract an interface The interface name will just be, uh, let's call it fee strategy. And we want to pull up the member calculate with both parameters, ticker type and visitor. Now what happened? We have the implement statement up here and the override keyword. That looks fine. And we should have the same in our child fee strategy so here we're going to implement our newly created interface fee strategy and add the override annotation above the calculate method is that enough to filter a list of strategies well not yet first we need to have a look at the fee strategy here we only have the calculate method but in order to filter a list of strategies we also need a method that tells us if the strategy is suitable for a given visitor so let's define it like this our strategy should accept a visitor object and decide if it can handle that visitor to calculate a price because I changed the interface, IntelliJ shows me that now we have some issues in our code. So inside our strategies, of course, the implementation is missing and we can jump to these places, hit Alt Enter and implement the missing methods. For the adult fee strategy, what we want to do is we want to return true if the visitor's age is above 14. We need to do the same thing for the child fee strategy also here we want to implement the missing method and return true 
if the visitor is 14 or younger. Now with that additional method in place, we can head back to our entrance fee calculator and introduce a collection of strategies. Let's define that as a private static collection of fee strategies. Use the method list of, and now we can add the strategies that we want to have in our fee calculator. Now we can replace that code here and instead what we want to use is strategies. We use that as a stream so that we can filter all the available strategies and say we want to use the strategy if it accepts our visitor object. What we need to do now is prevent um, any nasty bugs in our code. If we have multiple strategies which are matching, then this should be an exception in our code. And what I use to do so is the reduce method on the stream. That reduce method will only be called if we have more than one match. In here, I want to throw a new exception. Let's give it a legal state exception and say there must only be one strategy for this visitor. Now we should assign that to a variable. Let's call it just strategy for simplicity and create a local variable for that. So the return type of that stream statement is optional because it might be that no strategy is found. In that case, the optional contains null. If multiple strategies are found, then our reduce statement will throw an exception here. Now that we have our strategy, we can get it or If it's not present, then we want to throw an exception. We can calculate the ticket price and for that we pass the ticket type and the visitor. The only thing missing is the return statement and that concludes our refactoring where we replaced the previous version with many if else statement with a basic strategy pattern that is easy to extend by adding new strategies. After applying refactorings like these we need to make sure that the behavior is still the same. We can jump to the existing test for this class and make sure that at least that is still working. 